Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 Craft Guide series video. Last episode, we finished up Keeper of the Flame. It was a pretty poggers episode. I do like Keeper of the Flame. Um, but yeah, so we did that. And now, we're going to get started with a new spell, which I actually consider to be a pretty good spell. It's a decent damaging spell. I don't know what to tell you. And that spell is... Ninja pigs you probably knew if you clicked on the video that it was ninja pigs But I did a surprise reveal there ninja pigs right here Um, the treasure card is not gonna be hard to get I can tell you that right now Uh, it's probably gonna be in the bazaar a lot this spell is older than time itself They're gonna be all over the bazaar. They're gonna be drops from enemies It's gonna be easy to get now the rest of it is what might be a little bit more difficult so um, as always, we're just gonna blitz through the first two and that is the perfect peridot Which you get here and the ghost fire which you get here You get them both from our friend Architus, the reagent vendor here. Look how classy he is He's a he is a cool looking dude. Look at him checking the time or something pretty cool looking dude now we're already in Celestia, which is perfect for this next part and that is to get golden pearls um, now, there's a few ways to get it. Um, the bazaar is probably the easiest place to get it. You can transmute, um, you can transmute pearls into golden pearls. Um, 15 pearls per gold pearl. Um, or you could just buy it from the bazaar. I'm sure the bazaar has some. If the bazaar does not have some, you can get them all throughout, Cel or not all throughout Celestia. Um, the portico is one of the areas. Um, I'm gonna just try to find one pearl to prove it. I don't know where they are, but they're somewhere in the portico. <clears throat> I believe they're probably over here somewhere, right? I feel like they should be in here. Well, there's some kelp. So if you ever need kelp, there's there's where you get kelp. I'm just gonna roam around for a little bit. Um, um, once I get into a position where I won't get in battle with these stellar protectors, like right here. No. Nope. Like right. I'll just go all the way down here. I think pearls can spawn. Yeah, okay. So here's here's one pearl. Boom. Two pearls. Um, and those sometimes have a chance to drop gold pearls. Um, other places that drop gold pearls, you can probably... No, this is the wrong, this is the wrong area. Gold pearls over here. Um, other areas that drop it. I don't know if I scroll up, can you see it? Yeah, deep water, lake shore, pitch black lake, storm riven hall, the grotto, the portico, crab alley, and crab alley is only in the waterworks and walrusburg harbor. So that's all of the places that can drop gold pearls. Um, I hope that you, you know, you learn from that. Um, leather straps, I'm pretty sure can be easily bought in the bazaar if you want. Um, otherwise, you can use the transmute leather um, thing, which is five bones. Bones are gotten probably pretty commonly in the bazaar. They're also gotten, you can transmute bone from bronze gear, which um, is also a common one. So basically, Leather straps are just decently common. You're gonna get leather straps very, uh, very easily, whether it be from the bazaar or transmuting them from bones. I'm pretty sure one of my wizards has like 500 to 900 bones. Um, the next thing on our list is springs. Now I've gone over springs before. They're actually really easy, surprisingly easy, and that is to go to Marley Bone. And the reason for that is, is that. Let me go to a less full realm just to make sure that someone hasn't already stolen my scrap iron. And that is because if you just circle the outer streets of Marleybone here, like this entire area, you will find scrap iron on the side of the road. And that scrap iron can obviously be transmuted into springs. Um, I've, d I've done this before. I found quite a bit of scrap iron. Yep, you can see here, boom, scrap iron. And there's more just laying around in the streets. You'll find it quite a bit if you come here. Um, 
basically you just I would just circle this entire thing once if you don't find any scrap iron switch realms and just keep doing that process over and over and over again until you have the required scrap iron the required scrap iron I believe would be 15 times 50 which is about 300 scrap iron you need to transmute all of the strings or springs not strings sorry and um, <clears throat> yeah geez there's not a lot of scrap iron in this realm but trust me when I say that scrap iron is common in region square I found like five in a row on the side of the street so it's just all about uh, realms how p people you know sometimes take it and by sometimes I mean when they're doing things like this they'll take all the scrap iron because they'll be switching from realm to realm trying to find the scrap iron is that a full loop I've done? I believe that's a full loop I've done now. Yeah, so there was one scrap iron, but let me tell you, there is more throughout different realms. I can switch to Seraph and see if I can find any. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do another full loop because that would be like kind of kind of long and pointless. Aha! Scrap iron. Boom. Another scrap iron. Some mist wood. Yeah, there's definitely there's scrap iron throughout uh, throughout region square. You won't have too many problems finding it. Um, sandstone is next, or sunstone, sorry, which you get from transmuting sandstone. Um, there's many places that you can find sandstone. Here, I'll open up a list right now. Um, you can find sandstone in floating mountains science center in chrysalis the conda desert and lost wood crocotopia in the house of scales and upper zigzag uh hallie's observatory in marleybone in mirage you can find it uh in those places you can find it in tartarus oh why is that under wizard city that's weird <clears throat> and you can find it in savannah and stone town now um i found and this was from a comment a few videos ago that was actually really helpful was um that mirage tends to have a lot of sandstone like a lot of sandstone and uh you know that obviously kind of makes sense because you know we're in the middle of a desert area <clears throat> you know it makes sense that there's a lot of sand and a lot of sandstone so um yeah basically you'll just wander around um the caravan and alkali barrows if you don't already have this place unlocked either go to one of the other places i listed or um, get someone to teleport you into Mirage. It probably wouldn't be too difficult if you just ask someone, hey, can I go to Mirage? They, uh, there's a lot of friendly people in Wizard 101. I'm sure that at least one person might let you go into Mirage. Um, you know, you're not asking to go anywhere crazy. You're just asking to go to caravans. So, you know, that's enough. You just kind of wander around. Um, this is also a good source of other reagents. As you can see, I found stone block, mist wood, um, different kind of reagents. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just make sure that you don't get dragged into any battle battles at a low level, because otherwise you'll be absolutely dead. Um, there are other streets, obviously, that I've said. Um, the Ru Ruble Waste and the Alkali Burrows also um, have sandstone. So I don't know if you can walk in there without having unlocked Mirage yet. But if you can't, I'm sure you can find some in the caravan. It seems to be a little bit rare, but <clears throat> you'll find sandstone, and then you can transmute into sunstone. And trust me when I say that it will appear in the bazaar because people sell sunstone all the time because it's worth money. It's it's worth like you know a thousand gold or whatever. So people will see that and they'll be like, oh cool, sell it, without you know realizing that they'll probably need it in the future. So that's that. Um, sorry, I was distracted by what that guy was saying. Um, I don't particularly have, uh, that, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go show you where I get Amber, but, um, if you've watched my other videos, you've already seen this before, um, because there's only real one way, one way to farm Amber, the easiest, um, but along the way, I'll tell you the other ways you can get it that are, uh, effect, not really as effective. So, you can also get Amber for 2,500 arena tickets per in the arena. That one, in my opinion, is not worth it to farm for Amber unless you've already done PvP. If you're already into PvP and you already have a lot of arena tickets, go ahead. 
for me who does pve that option just isn't even viable in the slightest because 2500 arena tickets is a lot of tournaments that i don't want to do so <clears throat> there's that the uh the other option is for through transmuting you can transmute um amber dust and merle's whiskers to uh to become amber which um admittedly isn't a bad option i wouldn't farm for it but if you've done the worlds went through the worlds and you you know you might actually have some like for example my fire is 81 um amber dust and if i come over here to merle's whiskers i have 54. so i could probably make like another eight amber right now if i wanted to um you know but obviously Eh, I, I don't I don't really need to I have 32 as you might have seen um, In the future I might craft it into amber, but as of right now I have literally no point especially since fire has seen fire has like the least amount of spells to craft and I already have Krampus, so I don't need it um, The other way to get amber and this is probably the most reliable is from the secret bosses in Aquila That's gladiator doom Icarus, Cronus and sand squid in my opinion the best two to farm would be Cronus or Sand Squid, and that's because Cronus, in my opinion, is the easiest of the three bosses, and Sand Squid um, drops, uh, is reported to have dropped Amber at a higher rate. It is a bit difficult, but if you find a group willing to farm it, boom, go ahead. I'm sure it's not that hard. Gladiator Dima Karis, the reason why I don't consider that a viable option, one, you have to walk through a lot of, <laughs> you have to walk through a lot of Mount Olympus to actually get to him, like, the walk distance to get to him is actually a lot, which is kind of annoying. Uh, second, he has three ice minions that will spam shields, which are really annoying. And third, he um, he also has a natural attack, and that natural attack puts a minus 75 weakness on you, which is just really annoying. So if you have cleanse charms, you'll, you won't have a problem. But obviously, I just feel like it's easier to just, you know, farm Cronus or the Sand Squid instead. You can disagree with me all you want just choose one to farm you'll get 12 amber in no time which is how much it takes to make ninja pigs um so that's it for this video uh ninja pigs in my opinion is one of the better spells um not particularly for any re other reason than a it's cool and b it does a decent amount of damage for five pips like 640 damage for five pips is actually really good if you look at um fire fire's phoenix it's 515 to 595 damage so that uh, so with the highest damage phoenix average is 90 less than ninja pigs which um is pretty cool for a myth especially a low level myth that's going to be good a useful spell um if you're crafting this at level 60 maybe not as much but you might find use for it still you might find um you know you might find that you want to use it uh some more times when you get three pips um it definitely does a decent amount of damage. It's not entirely not worth it. You can see it still actually is comparable to Heliphant, which is tier six. And I believe that it's actually comparable to the damage Orthrus does, right? And a little bit more. So up until you get Medusa, it's probably one of the be better options you have to use as a boss hitting spell. But that's it for this video. Um, that's it for today entirely. If you enjoy, please drop a like and hit the sub button. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Thank you all for watching.